So here's how to create an infographic using Canva. It's very easy to do, and you can click the link in the description if you'd like to follow along or simply use that for easier Canva access. Let's begin. So what would you want to do when you're at your dashboard? I simply clicked on the Create Design button right here. And once we are in this specific spot, I'm going to type in Infographic. And just like that, we're going to get a plethora of them. As you can see, some are going to be a little bit more specific, which is actually quite beneficial if you ask me. If you know you're going to be doing something for business, you might as well go in the business category. And if you scroll down, you're going to see there's even a lot more. For my example, I'm actually going to be using marketing. But if you want to do something where you can just choose a little bit more or start from scratch, you're going to want to go with the infographic right here, 800 by 2000. So I do want to utilize marketing here. So in this example, I'm going to do a marketing one. I'm going to click right here. All right, and now that we have done that, it's going to showcase a lot of marketing templates that we can use. Maybe you thought you clicked on the wrong thing or you want to search for something else. What you can do here is just say type in business and then do enter. Now you're going to get a lot of business related ones, which is great. So ideally here, what I like doing here is using a template. This is kind of like any time I'm doing anything on Canva. Find something that's going to look nice to you already where you don't have to edit around too many things because Canva is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting here when it comes to actually creating your infographic. And yes, some of these are going to be pro. I do have Canva Pro at the time, so uh, that does come with a free trial. So if you see any of these that have the uh, little crown icon there, you can always use Canva Pro to try it out. So I'm going to be going with this one, but obviously you can choose anything you want. Now what I want to do here is make it a little bit bigger. You're going to notice it's kind of blurry and small. We can go to the 28% here and we can zoom in. And all we have to do is just kind of scroll up and then we can see what we want to change around. So ultimately, this is one that's going to be very easy to do. So if you need an infographic done quickly, I think this one's really going to help you out. All you have to do is go in and change around what you need to do. So define your, let's just say I'm going to change it to goal. All right, we're just typing in goal there. And what you need to do is click here, clearly outline your business, goals and objectives, understand your mission, and so on and so forth. So this is where you would change your text. Now, I think it's ultimately going to be a little bit too easy if I just go in there and change things around. But ideally, this is going to make your life so much easier if that's all you really needed to do was change around the main sections here. And of course, just change around the text that's going to be in it. And then obviously, you could do your website your website.com. So this could be for marketing, could be for posting online, could be for an assignment or anything related to that. I do want to show you how you can save it. And then I'm just going to show you some other templates to give you a little bit more. Okay. So we have share right here. And what we want to do is go to download. This is when you want to save it. So a PDF print is definitely going to be good here. We can utilize that. And of course you simply want to click download when you're going to be good to go. You can also go with a JPG if needed. If you want to go back, I believe you can use a PNG as well. Let's see. There we go. It's going to have the size there and pretty much these are going to be some Canva Pro features, but if you want to utilize them, you can. And of course, download is going to be how you save it. So if we go back to design, let's see go back here. We can now do, I think it was marketing infographic. Okay. Let's look for one. Maybe that's going to be slightly different where we could add something in. All right, let's say I like this one right here. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to click on this and it says add template as a new page. Uh, let's just do replace current page. Perfect. So we can click off of this. Now this one's going to be great because there's a lot of different images that we can use as well that actually look pretty good. So if there was anything you wanted to change around here, what we can do is actually look for images. So let's see, we can go to elements here. Let's just do like infographic art. Okay, we have some graphics there. We could just do say graphics. And let's say we wanted to change something around here. Let's do like laptop. Okay, so these are some infographics that you can use, just kind of giving you some ideas of other ways to find graphics. So this right here, we could always take out. I'm not saying it's gonna look better, but you know, as an option, if you wanted to put that there, let's make it a little bit smaller. Let's drag it right here. Obviously much smaller, right? So you could do something like that. That doesn't look too bad if you want to overlap it, but these are just some graphics that already come along with it. That's why I like saying it's great to use a template because a lot of these match already and I think they look good. For example, let's say we had a phone here. We can look for a phone, something like that. I think the one they have is already better, but just kind of showcasing more examples of what you can do. Ideally, what it comes down to, once again, I know I sound like a broken record, but it's going to save you a ton of time. Find an infographic template that you already like and then easily just change around pretty much the text and you know some of the headlines. If you want to use some of the pictures as well, maybe you want to make this one bigger to make it stick out, something like that. You can do that as well. 
But I think I'm gonna wrap up this tutorial. Like I really wish I could give you so much more in terms of when it comes to creating this. It's just that Canva gives you so much to work with already, which is gonna make your life easier. Once again, we'll repeat it one more time. So find the template that you're looking for. We're gonna be searching for an infographic. Then of course, narrow it down as needed. Maybe it's business, maybe it's marketing, maybe it's YouTube or social media, or if it's something maybe um, completely different related, type in your niche or your topic with infographic, and you're gonna find plenty of them that you can already use and then go from there. The biggest things is just changing out the headlines, some of the text like this headline, the description under it. And of course, if you wanna change some of the pictures, you can as well. Didn't get to talk about it, but in case you wanted to change the background here, let's just say we're going with yellow, just simply clicking on it here, we have yellow again. Probably don't wanna make this yellow because I don't think it's gonna look as great with the white text even though that sticks out a little bit more, but maybe something like this, right? If you wanted to change around these colors, we can do every other or just all of them can be different as well. And I know I said, I'm like, that's gonna be about it, but I think that is going to be it now. So a few more tips for you. If this video helped you out, be sure to give it a thumbs up as it helps me out a ton as well. And of course, if you made it to the end, a virtual high five for you, I will leave a free gift in the description that can help with building and growing your digital business if that's what you're into, of course. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.